What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that the Jordan 1 raffle is still going on for the Jordan 1 top threes. They are a size 7.5. The price of the raffle tickets is a dollar each, and there's a total of 300 entries, and right now we're at 63 entries, so make sure to enter while they last. Anyways, I do want to give a big thank you to Rasta Cloud for sending these bracelets to me, so I can review for you guys. So moving on with the video, we do have the best bracelets ever, in my opinion, at least. And the reason I do consider them the best bracelets is because there are so many variations that you can wear them with anything if you buy the certain colors and the bracelets next time over to me were these four right here as you guys can see they are pretty cool i like them they sent me a lot of different variations so shout out to them and prior to them sending me those i did already pick up this one from the store and to start off i do want to review this bracelet first it is pretty cool because this bracelet is actually reflective as you guys can see in the camera it is all gray but if you put a flash to it it does kind of change colors so as you guys you guys can kind of see the glow on it and it's pretty cool you can see it all the way throughout the bracelet except on the lacelets. And man, this is super dope, especially when you take a picture with a flash on. And I'm not going to lie, I will be wearing this bracelet a lot just because it is reflective. And it could go with pretty much anything. By the way, this is one of their newest innovations on their line. Go ahead and pick these up. They're pretty cool. Next up, I have another reflective, except this one doesn't reflect all the way through. Since you guys can see the lines, this one only reflects on the white areas. The next bracelet that sent me was this colorway right here. And as you guys can see, it does have like that easy pattern from the 350 boost on the turtle colorway. And then it has these nice touches of tan. And it is matte, which is beautiful. I love the color matte. And then it does have a black line on there. And that's probably another reason why I love this brand, because it has a line. And I am obsessed with lines. Why, I don't know. I just always like them a lot. These two bracelets right here are new on their brand. They are called the Nada Clot, I'm pretty sure. And they're pretty simple. I like the design. It's pretty simple. It's not too much going on. And they still have the patterns that they like to put on it. So the next bracelet is not a Nada Clot. It is one of their classic designs. And it, it is this leather bracelet with matte black tips. And honestly, the matte black kills it. But to be honest, I'm not feeling the leather. I, I'm not much of a leather person, to be honest, overall. So that's probably why I don't like it. But I showed my friend and he loves it. Pros to these bracelets is that they're very stylish. And they have a lot of colorways. I'm pretty sure on their website or in stores, you can find... Whatever colorway it is you need because they make so many colorways. They even make college collabs like I don't think they made FSU but I've seen them make like LSU, Alabama I think. I don't remember exactly which ones but I know they made like collabs I guess you can call them with colleges and that was pretty dope. I like that idea a lot but I was a little upset they didn't have FSU because that is my dream school. Another pro of these braces is that they're very sturdy and I feel like they will last very long. Especially because the quality on these is really good overall just even from the lace tips to the metals in the middle and to the material they use as the actual bracelet, it's really good. Cons to the bracelets is that they do get dirty easily because since it is a bracelet, it's around your hands, your hands carry a lot of dirt. It is gonna get on the bracelet as you tighten it. That's more only for the clear colors like the white one I have here and maybe even this one right here that I have. Another con that isn't really too big is that these metals, they are a little heavy. So when you wear it, it starts to come down, but that's not really much of a big deal for me. I kind of like it to stay up because I like the way it looks up here, but it doesn't really matter. It's not going to weigh your arm down a lot either, but it is just, I'm just saying it's heavy. But with quality comes the weight. Like I said, the quality on these bracelets are amazing. And one more con, but I think it's an issue like you can avoid or it has been fixed, is that as you tighten them on your wrist, is that when you pull, you want to pull it from the ropes too. You don't want to pull it from the eyelets or the lacelets or whatever, because if you do, it could pull it out and then it's really hard to put back in. But I haven't had a problem with this one, so... I'm pretty sure that problem has been fixed. I forgot to mention that if your bracelet does get dirty, you could wash it. You can put it in some kind of little bag. I usually just put it in a sock and then I tie it and then just throw it in the washer. And it washes it pretty well. The, the dirt comes off and it does shrink it a little bit. So it does stretch. It does shrink it with the heat, but then eventually it does stretch it in a little bit. But honestly, you want it to be a little loose because you don't want it to really like restrict your wrist because supposedly it's bad. You want that blood flowing through your arms and stuff too. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you keep subscribing. The goal is 10,000 by February 11, which is Sneaker Con for Lauderdale. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers are now. Peace.